Now I'm going to be doing a review of this peephole made by Stanley that I got online and I'm going to show you how to remove a peephole from a door. Alright, there's the original peephole. The first thing you want to do is you want to get an X-Acto knife or a razor blade and try to score and break the paint line so that when this thing comes out you don't end up peeling all the paint and ruining your paint job on the door. Now you see that there are two slots over here. Instructions say that you should put a screwdriver in here and turn it while you're holding the other side on the other side of the door. But most people don't have a screwdriver that is this wide. I mean this is really wide. And other instructions say you put two screwdrivers in here and turn. Now that might work, but that's going to be really awkward putting a screwdriver in here and a screwdriver in here. Here I'm using an X-Acto blade and I am trying to score to break the paint, to break the paint line, like I said, so that uh, when this thing unscrews, all the paint won't come off with it and damage the paint job. You can see over here where I use the X-Acto knife and I try to score the paint, try to break the paint away from the peephole that's in there now. I also use the knife to break out the paint in these little notches for the screwdriver, which I might need. I might attempt to try that first, or I just might use channel locks and try to grab and do a spin. And I'll see which one of those works. Take your time if you're using a blade or an X-Acto knife. You don't want it to slip and cut your finger. And you also don't want it to scratch your door and ruin the paint job. So go slow and be careful. Definitely not easy to be using two screwdrivers. Um, especially if this thing is really tight. It, you don't, you, you can see it's very awkward. It doesn't look like I can get a good grip on this thing to make it spin. I don't know if it's even turning. Um, all right, what I'm ending up doing is using channel locks because I can't figure out any other way to do this. Um, I taped the door so I wouldn't damage the paint. And I'm gripping, I don't know, let me see if you can zoom in. Let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can see it. It's turning, hopefully it's turning. It looks like it's loosening. I don't want my hand in the way. I don't know if this is, it's turning, so I don't know what's going on on the other side. Let's see. There we go. All right, so that removed, uh, that's how you remove it. I use channel locks. I put tape around the door so I wouldn't scratch it. And I, it should, this thing shouldn't be torqued down really tight. The paint holds it in and a little bit of tightening. So that's how you remove this thing. Now I'm going to go pop the other one in in a minute. Uh, make sure you go on the other side and put the knife on there and break the paint line so that you don't remove your paint and ship the door on the outside. You can see I've removed... Uh, removed it from the inside and outside of the door and now I'm going to go pop the new one in. This should be an easy job to finish off. That is the new Stanley peephole. Much cheaper, it feels much cheaper and thinner than the one that I took off, but the one that I took off is probably 30 years old. So let me pop this in the door. I have the peephole mounted on the outside. Now I'm going to screw this thing in. It looks like it's much smaller. The hole is much smaller, so this might not even work. It's definitely not going to work. So what I've got here is difference in size between the original and the new one. And I'm not going to be able to use it. But So there goes about $15 down the drain, unless I want to drill another hole and put another peephole in, which I could do. It would look kind of silly. So make sure that you measure the hole beforehand. All right, that's how you take a peephole out and put a new peephole in. And it would help if uh, I had measured the thickness of the door, which seems to be fine. But the hole that I am putting the new unit in is much too big for the new peephole and it's not going to work right so I'm going to post this anyway just so you know how to take out a peephole and how to put a new one in and hopefully this helps somebody.